Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5, Arrow Season 7, and Supergirl Season 4, because it's Elseworld stuff. We're going over some stuff from the crossover, some, uh, you know, some stuff, you know, some stuff seen in photos that were back actually posted by people on the cast. So, uh, these aren't leaked. But obviously, throughout the video, do let me know your opinions on various things, because there, there is like a couple of interesting things to go over. Some at the beginning, some right at the end. Actually, the one right at the end is actually pretty interesting as well. Interested to see what you guys think about that. But just leave all of your general opinions in the comment section down below over all the stuff we go over. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like on it as well to show your support. So the first thing that we're actually going to be going over in this video is a bit of a double whammy, as you can see here. So it's, it's a picture of Batwoman and Supergirl. Okay, now this is like the first... Uh, non-official look at Batwoman, if that makes sense. So we had that first official one came out, which was obviously photoshopped in some areas. So this is like our first raw look at the, the suit, if you want to call it. Uh, even though I wouldn't base your full expectations of what we're seeing here, because the lighting is obviously not that good. Uh, and obviously you're not seeing the whole thing. You basically like basically the bottom half is all dark and you're basically just seeing the logo and upwards, I guess, which I guess is the main part you want to look at the logo, what it looks like, as well as like the, you know, the head design and everything like that. But based off this, I think she looks good. Now, the one criticism I've seen a lot of people going on about is the hair. They said it looks like a wig. People, it's meant to be a wig. It's literally meant to be a wig. Like it's not meant to be a real hair. It's meant to be a wig. So if it looks like a wig, they're nailing it because it's meant to be a wig. So I saw people complaining about that and I was like, oh, seriously, dudes. Um, another criticism, which I can understand is the mask. People think the mask looks just a bit odd and I, th I can understand that maybe it does look a bit, a bit odd to me. I don't mind it. I think it suits the character. It does look very much like the comics, but I think I can understand how people think I uh, can get the, get yeah, get the thoughts going through the head that in live action, maybe it doesn't translate that well, which yeah, it might not translate well to you, but I think in regards to being accurate from the comics, it is being accurate. And that's what a lot of people complain about. Oh, people want, they want it to be accurate and stuff like that. Um, the only issue I'm really having is maybe once again, it could come down to the lighting issue, but maybe the way the, like the, the suit fabric looks, uh, cause it isn't like a full on black. It's almost like a, like a charcoal. I wouldn't say it's like full on black. It's more of like a charcoal sort of, uh, sort of color. Um, so it is like bouncing off the, like the lights bouncing off it a lot. Uh, but if you didn't know, I did say this when the first official look came out and I was just basing that off what we saw there because it was like not close up. So you didn't get to see like all the textures and stuff, but I'm now like 100% certain. I think back then I was probably like 99.72% certain, but now like 100% certain that the fabric used on the Batwoman suit is the exact same one used on the new uh, Flash suit uh, for this season. Obviously, this just being black, and then it has like a uh, you know different textured areas in certain parts to almost like mimic Kevlar that we've seen used a lot on Arrow. Um, but yeah, from what I'm seeing here, I still like it. Uh, obviously, you know on screen it's going to look different because there's going to be proper lighting and stuff. These aren't the best photos to fully judge it, but based off this photo, I'm still a big fan of it. Um, not too sure what's going on with the neck area now that I look at it now. The neck looks a bit weird, but I guess on screen you would hardly see that. I don't know, maybe it just looks weird in this photo. Once again, the lighting isn't great, so maybe it's just giving a bit of a not 100% best look at it. But from what I've seen here, I'm still enjoying I think the logo looks really cool. Um, the hair does look a bit pink, but I think that's once again, the lighting. I think it's meant to be more of like a, a red when you actually see it on TV and stuff like that. So, um... I'm not going to pay too much of a uh, too much attention to that. But in the background is something that I think I was like the first one to point out. I'm, I'm not too to my own horn, but I saw literally no one talking about it. And then I posted it and then I saw other people posting it. So you might be going, Pagey, you're just saying that to toot your own horn. Maybe, but I think I was the only, I was like the first, well, not the only, but I think I was the first one to point it out. But in the background, that's obviously Arkham Asylum. Just look at the gates. They just That just screams Arkham Asylum. And also there's, there's some stuff that we'll talk about in a second from inside Arkham Asylum uh, that, well, confirms that it's Arkham Asylum. So we can't see like the big Arkham over the top. I'm guessing they'll just add that in CGI afterwards. Like they usually do with a lot of uh, Arkham Asylum type things on shows. Like they don't actually build a proper Arkham Asylum thing. They'll just have a set of gates that look like your, you know, your typical Arkham Asylum gates. And then they'll just add the big Arkham thing over the top. Background looks like it could be Arkham as well. Um, but yeah, you don't get the best look of it, but obviously you have Supergirl and Batwoman 
outside Ar- outside Arkham Asylum, so that's, you know, exciting in itself. But speaking of Arkham Asylum, Mark Guggenheim, who is obviously a consulting producer on Arrow this season and also the writer for the Arrow episode of this crossover, uh, did post an official image of inside Arkham Asylum. So as you can see here, this is one of the cells. Now it does say Mark Guggenheim, uh, obviously it's just a bit of an Easter egg. I'm guessing they're just gonna, this is basically like a panning shot that they'll go through all the, like when they just enter in Arkham, it'll just say Mark Guggenheim. Like they could, I guess say like Nigma E or something like that if they wanted to, you know, for the Riddler or something like that. But obviously this is just a little, a little Easter egg. Maybe they don't have the rights to use different characters. So they just have to make up some names. I'll probably put some Easter eggs in there, like actual characters from Gotham, then that, you know, that would be an Arkham Asylum, but this is just a little example of what it's going to look like, and obviously Mark Guggenheim was the guy that also posted, like, the first uh, official look at uh, the John Wesley ship 1990s Flash coming back in August, so hopefully we get more of these, so this is actually what it's going to look like on the episode, so this is actually from the footage that they shot, so that's, that's pretty cool. But as you can see, like Arkham is all like worn down and stuff. It does look old. So I'm really interested to actually enter Arkham. But the next photo, I'm actually sort of um, nervous about putting on screen because I can just see YouTube demonetizing me. But as they say in Hawaii, let's just YOLO it up. Don't kill me for saying YOLO. But here we have blood. Obviously, it's not real blood, but lots of lots of fake blood on like a, like a surgery, like a surgery, like morgue sort of table, like a, what would you call it? Dissection table, you know, like a morgue or something like that. And there's like a, is that a rib cage in the back? What the hell? (laughs) I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on, but this is inside Arkham and this looks like it's going to be the workstation. Is that the best word, word to use? Like the workstation of Dr. Destiny. Now, Dr. Destiny will be played by Jeremy Davies. Now, it is important to remember, we've had like a lot of stuff come out. We have like the black suited Superman. We have Amazo in the crossover. We have seen the monitor. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on this crossover. But the important thing to remember is that it has been said that the main villain of the crossover is Dr. Destiny. So um, just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind that he is meant to be the main villain. But I think maybe what we're seeing going on here is like the first altercation that our heroes will have with him. And then he might put, well, might do his work on them. I'm trying to look into, into the background to see if there's anything special there. It just looks like a sink and some random things that are really hard to make out. But obviously, maybe the stuff we're seeing here on this like table of blood and whatever it is is meant to be like the, the stuff we're meant to be looking at. But I wonder who got like ripped into. I doubt it was any of our heroes, but yeah. For a CW show, you know, they are getting a bit, you know, this is probably like the line. I mean, my thing, oh, it's pretty tame, but... They still got to like adhere to like a uh, censorship stuff. Um, and this is, you know, it's pretty out there. But yeah, we've seen like none of Dr. Destiny. I don't think we'll see anything from him to be completely honest, because I don't think he'd really be doing any outside stuff or at least like outside in the streets, like we've seen with the other set photos. Um, so we might be just waiting until the actual crossover to get a decent look at him or at least maybe the trailers uh, for the crossover. But I am interested to see like what they do with him, whether he's just like some random dude that just... Maybe has drugs and stuff to make people go weird, or if he does have the abilities like he does in the comics, where he can like uh, essentially what he does, he makes your like your nightmares and dreams into a reality. Um, and like we are getting hints that that's what they're actually doing this crossover, but we're not getting like a massive hint as to that as to that's what's actually going on there because we have the monitor coming in. It does make you think that maybe there's just some multiverse stuff going on. So it's a bit confusing. So hopefully it is streamlined and actually makes sense in the crossover. Uh, but seeing that he is the main villain, you have to think he is the one that's making all this stuff happen. But speaking of uh, making things happen and uh, changing things up a bit, we have this picture of uh, Stephen Amell, who obviously plays Oliver Queen on Arrow, and then Grant Gustin, who plays Barry Allen in The Flash. And they're just sitting there. It looks like they are in Arkham. This is just like, a, I guess, the waiting bay. Even like the chair is dented up. Like, Jesus Christ, Arkham. They Do they get like no funding? Anyway, you might be just looking at this photo and going, okay, okay, it's just the two actors sitting there chilling out. Well, I pointed this out on Twitter, and I'm pretty sure I'm right in this. Stephen Amell, who plays Oliver Queen, is dressed up like how Barry would dress up on The Flash, and Grant Gustin, who plays Barry Allen, is dressed up how Stephen Amell would normally dress up as Oliver Queen on Arrow. So I think this is basically confirming that, you know, that Grant Gustin is literally Oliver Queen, and Stephen Amell is Barry Allen. That's how they're going to go about in this crossover. Uh, It's sort of confusing, but they're obviously swapped clothes. Now, one of the things I heard people saying was that it was like a swap body sort of thing. And I could understand that, but then wouldn't that just make it that um, it was just their mentalities? 
would be, you know, their like, their, like their, their consciousnesses would be swapped, not their abilities. So they wouldn't be make like uh, Oliver Queen be able to run fast. It would just be that he's in the Flash's body, if that makes sense. But he'd still look like Grant Gustin. Hopefully, that's making sense. Um, I think what they're doing is it's literally just going to be some like alternate dimension where they're just swapped. So uh, Stephen Amell is actually playing Barry Allen, and he just looks like himself. And then Grant Gustin is playing Oliver Queen. I think that's how they're going to do it. Uh, but obviously, we can just theorize as much as we want, but there is only a couple of options that they could go about. But I think that would be a cool thing to see happen because you're never going to see it happen again. So why not go for it? And the last photo to go over in regards to stuff from the crossover is this photo of Tom Cavanaugh and Grant Gustin. So obviously, Grant Gustin is suited up as Green Arrow in this photo here. But as you can look, just looking at Tom Cavanaugh, he looks different. Now, obviously, the hair and stuff, he's not looking like Sherlock. I think Sherlock's gone from the show at this point. I think he's going to go in episode seven or or eight, and I think we're going to get someone else that Tom Kavanagh will be playing in the back half. Uh, but Tom Kavanagh is wearing like a padded suit, similar to what Grant Gustin is wearing. So this is making me think that he is actually suiting up as a hero or a villain in this crossover, and I don't think it's going to be reverse Flash. Now, what I think is going to be happening here is that uh, Tom Kavanagh is going to be playing Dark Archer, and it would make sense because that's obviously the reverse Flash, if you want to call it, of Green Arrow. And John Barrowman, who played Malcolm Merlin or Dark Archer in Arrow up to season five, was actually in Vancouver for a while during crossover filming. So it would not surprise me in the slightest if he's going to be playing Reverse Flash. Now, let's just see if that happens. I'm not confirming that's going to happen. But, you know, Tom Kavanagh here is obviously wearing padded suiting to wear a suit to make it like uh, fit him better. So it's not like a uh, like loose, if that makes sense. Like Grant's got it on. So he fits that green arrow suit a bit better. So I think that's obviously what's happening here. I'm not saying that Tom Kavanagh is going to be playing Dark Archer, but I think that makes the most sense. Obviously, the other option is that he could be playing like a Johnny Quick, like another speed star. But I think the cooler option would be if he was Dark Archer. So it sort of fit, fits as like Elseworlds thing that they're going for. But there is one week left of crossover filming. Stephen Amell confirmed this. So from a week from now, or at least in the next week, might I say, it's our last chance to get some crossover stuff in, on social media and like set photos and stuff. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. I might make one more video if we get anything decent. Uh, but yeah, so one week left and then they're back to filming the normal episodes, I guess. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and it show your support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions on what we went over in this video. Just leave all of them in the comment section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.